Let's go to Morocco now, and progress has been made in discussions with both bilateral and private creditors for debt relief deal that aligns with the conditions for receiving the next tranche of the IMF package to Ghana. Finance Minister Ken Oferiata shared these updates during the IMF World Bank meetings in Morocco on Friday. He stated that a deal is expected to be finalized and a memorandum of understanding will be signed by the third week of November. This development paves the way for Ghana to advance with the program. For more insights on this, City News' Vivian Kailuko reports from Marrakesh, Morocco. For many Ghanaians, the key interest here at Marrakesh in Morocco is to do with the IMF bill that package and move in development for Ghana by discussions with developmental partners, among other things. The finance minister has been speaking to journalists, addressing some key concerns around the IMF bill that package and many issues to do with the economy. On what levels of engagement have gone on so far with creditors. This is what the finance minister, Ken Foyata, told pressmen and women here in Morocco. I think the issue of, of the second tranche um, of the IMF, um, as I mentioned, the SLA was achieved um, last Friday, um, which then puts us in full position uh, to be able to receive that, subject to the OCC coming through. And as I mentioned, we've also had very good meetings um, with um, <coughs> the Paris Club, including um, the governor of the Bank, uh, People's Bank of China. Um, and we are hearing good assurances for that. Um, I think the board meeting will be in the third week, uh, but I am in the third week of, of November. Officials of the IMF here in Morocco this week during discussions on the Fiscal Monitor Report advise African countries with high debt to relook at tax concessions as a way to improve their revenue base. Similar calls have been made by economists in Ghana for a while now, but will we see a huge chop in tax concessions in the next budget or any time soon? No, we already went to um, Parliament um, with this exemptions and how to uh, make sure that they are relevant uh, to you know, the agenda of at the same time getting investors in and, um, and also uh, being able to make sure that you don't give too much away. Ken Ofreata also revealed the progress made so far in addressing weaknesses in the energy sector. Energy um, negotiations with the IT video um, and there was an energy and sector recovery program um, that has been agreed on and um, the fund um, as a sector um, and the um, But so far uh, we've been able to um, keep the uh, lights on. Uh, there's no been any cues. Uh, we have a pretty safe uh, environment and we are working with inflation in the right direction, the currency um, quite stable throughout this period, and growth being stronger than what um, the plan for it would be. Um, so, as I say, uh, we keep uh, overcoming the very And as government officials wrap up discussions here in Marrakesh, Morocco, with key institutions and partners at the IMF World Bank meeting, they are hopeful that they will be able to implement some of the discussions done here, as well as move forward plans to develop the country further, and of course, to move the IMF discussions to the next level. Reporting from Marrakesh here in Morocco, for City TV, my name is Vivian Kai Loko.